Hi Steady Witties! So it has been quite a while since I made a video, I'm extremely sorry for that, but I'm back and better than ever. So today's video is going to be an autumn stationery haul. Fall is one of my favorite seasons just behind winter, and sadly it's ending in a few weeks. But I thought I would just do a little haul before November officially ends, so without a further ado, let's dive into my stationery haul. So the first stationery item I got was a set of 70 gel pens, and this is from Blot, which is a fairly new stationery company. And I love to craft and decorate, so I'll definitely use a lot of them when I'm creating holiday cards and other stuff. But for right now, I'm going to test out their new ballpoint pens, and I prefer to use gel pens, rollerball pens, and felt tip pens. I'm just not a big fan of ballpoint pens. But my first impressions of these pens are that they are really sleek, and they have a unibody form, which is really nice, and the metallic ones are really pretty in person. And they write like any other ballpoint pen. It's always good to have a few lying around because you never know, some teachers prefer to have ballpoint pens instead of gel pens because they don't bleed through the paper. That's why I like to have at least one with me in my pencil case. For autumn, I don't know why, but I really really do love the neutral natural color scheme with the pops of oranges and yellows, so a lot of the items I bought were aligned towards that, plus I bought a lot of floral theme items, I don't know why, but from like thank you cards to pencil cases and stickers, and this package is from Gentle and Ruthless on Etsy. Cheyenne, the owner of the store, makes the cutest drawings and doodles, like they're super pretty, and when she first released the shop, I immediately went on and bought a few stickers and also an art print. So this one is her witch print, which I thought was really fitting for Halloween. She has a current section of like autumn Halloween themed items. And this one is currently hanging above my desk area. I do really, really love her art style. She makes the, like, as I said, she makes the cutest drawings. And that one is just one of my favorites from her. And I also bought a sticker pack. Um, I bought a few stickers and as you can see right now, I was kind of shocked when I received all of them because um, she was nice enough to send over some extra stickers and I didn't really I didn't really know what to think um, but I did buy the mushroom sticker I did buy the rose stickers and I do really really love all of them equally um, I have used the witch stickers on my notebooks I have used them in my bullet journal and yeah they're just really really pretty I would say my favorites are definitely the rose ones and the mushroom ones. I also do really love the witches, but I have to go, if I had to choose like two of them, I would say the mushrooms and the roses. So if you want to support her shop, the link will be in the description box. It's basically just gentle and ruthless on Etsy. Moving on, I really wanted to get a thank you card set because you never know when you need one. So I bought this pack from Anthropology. It was on sale. It was probably around $10 and I thought they were just super well designed. You can never go wrong with like florals and gold foil. Plus the box itself looks super nice. So I'm probably going to use it as like a storage box for like stickers, pins and other stuff. There are four designs and they also come with golden envelopes. My favorite is probably this one right here and also the pink reef, which is really nice. I also just bought the holiday cards, which is a set of Merry Christmas cards, holiday cards. And if you want to see a holiday edition stationery haul, leave a comment down below. One of my favorite items I bought was this autumn pencil case. It's made out of a canvas fabric with a brass zipper. And actually the place I got it from, which is Cotton and Canvas on Etsy, the listing was for a custom name, but I didn't really want Brian on my pencil case. So I ended up going with autumn. 
My pencil and pen situation really needed a revamp because I've been using this old, I think around six years old, mesh pencil case. It was formerly my sister's but I ended up using it and there's a lot of trash in there so I just wanted to declutter and take out anything that I didn't really use that often so I ended up just going with my Muji pens and some pencils and also an eraser. Surprisingly, the pencil case is pretty big. I thought it was just gonna hold like a few pens and a pencil, but it ended up holding quite a lot of stuff. I bought two because I really wanted to interchange them throughout the year because autumn is just like a few months and I didn't want to have an autumn pencil case during the summer, if you kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure you have seen this notepad in a previous video, but I just wanted to bring it back because I've been using it quite often in this past month. It is from Rifle Paper Co, which is one of my favorite stationery stores. They have so many cute planners and other things, and this is definitely my favorite to-do list I own. So I got these quite a while ago, they're from Appointed Co, they're based in Washington DC, and I just love the design of their notebooks. It's quite simple, but they also do like custom stuff like my monogram, which is BQ, which I also really love. I ended up going with a dot grid paper, and I use this as my bullet journal for school. So the cover on the top is a hardcover-ish, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's not a fabric, it's not smooth, it's definitely textured, and it kind of feels and looks like denim. And I also got the white version and I'll definitely use this next year in 2018 as my school planner. I also have their smaller ones which are not spiral bound so I use them as a sketchbook and they're the same colors, the light gray and the dark gray. I also bought a ton of art recently. I love supporting indie artists, I don't know why but I prefer to spend my money supporting indie artists rather than big corporations. And I'll link everything down below. A lot of the items come from Etsy and that piece has inspired me so much. It has been the inspiration for a lot of my wildflowers in my bullet journal. And this piece comes from Tarashi Bomb. This was not from Etsy. I found them on Instagram by John Studies. He posted a picture of their work and I was like, I gotta have at least a few of their prints and I bought the first one which is a blue and white print, I bought this one which is a sushi tank and I also bought this one which is a toenail clipper art print. I, I don't know why but I just loved it so much. If you do art or if you know someone that does art, leave a comment down below because I would love to check out your artworks. And finally, this is my favorite art print that I bought so far. It is from Quill and Fox. She's on Etsy. She has her own website. And I first found her from Anthropology. She made the advent calendar last year for Anthropology, and I just loved it so much that I followed her and I found this print and it's on sale right now. I think it's around $10. It was $25, it's now $10 and I just love it. And I use this as my Instagram background because it works with a lot of my florals, a lot of with my neutral colors and yeah, it just looks really nice. I have one more package that I want to show on camera. This is from Paper Cranes and I bought a few items from her. I bought an art print and I also bought an enamel pin. An enamel pin. So if you know me, I love enamel pins. It's just one of my favorite items to get for accessories and just to, you know, personalize my clothing and my backpack. And this one is called Make Something. It is an enamel pin and I love it so much. It was actually a second sale. So there's minor imperfections, but I'm fine with that. So it's actually quite big. It's probably around 1.5 inches and that's pretty big for enamel pins. And I also bought this art print, it says, a flower does not think about competing with a flower next to it, it just blooms. And it's just a lovely saying, but it's kind of, kind of not true, because you know, like plants do compete with each other to get enough water and nutrients. But it is a nice saying. So the last thing I got was this birthday present from my sister. She sent over a daily things to do pad and also a daily planner for 2018. Even though I usually only bullet journal, it is more convenient to have a planner with me. And I did have a 2017 planner, I did show it in my previous stationery haul. And that is from, I think that was from Sugar Paper LA. And this one is from Plum Paper, and I do really love that custom image on the front. And this is a student planner, and I think this is awesome because I'm going to college next year. And hopefully I get into my dream college, and I'll definitely use this throughout my time there. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support me, I do have a merch shop where I sell t-shirts that say be kind and part of the proceeds will be going to the suicide prevention hotline. And also I do have an Etsy shop where I sell enamel pins and other things. And part of the proceeds from there will be going to the Trevor Project that prevents suicide among LGBT members. Besides that, I do have an Instagram. I also have a Tumblr. I also have um, a Twitter. So if you want to follow all my social media links, they will be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Bye!